Hey guys, uh, just want to make a quick video before I go to bed uh, and make it short and sweet. I just came across Chris Potter's video, good old Chris Flying Cheese Sandwich Nut Job. Um, and he and Jeff P are corroborating together this video, which is from AddictedToSports.com. Uh, they're both claiming that this is part of the Nibiru system, and possibly even Nibiru itself. Um, those of you who've watched my videos possibly have come across uh, one of the first videos I did months back. It's actually labeled Jeff P. Debunked. I debunked him for one of his lens flares where he has a telescopic lens attached to his phone. And as he unscrews it to take it off, the entire um, sun, quote unquote, second sun dips. And uh, it's clearly a lens flare. And he even uh, admitted on Steve Olson's show, he he was a guest on Steve Olson's show way back uh, months back when I did it. He even admitted that uh, that he made a mistake on that. So here I am debunking him again, yet again, um, as well as Chris Potter. I mean these guys, these guys just continue to pump out videos, um, and everyone's just taking it at face value and they're believing exactly what they're hearing and seeing on the screen, without doing their own research and. Uh, and to me, they're just as bad as some of the, the sheeple walking around who have no clue what's going on in the world. I still believe, uh, you know, to a certain extent in, in the whole Planet X theory, just because there's a lot of stuff going on worldwide, world, worldwide with those strange weather patterns and the asteroid, or the meteor up, upticks and all that good stuff. So um, what I don't believe in is these guys who continue to, like I said, pump out bullshit videos where Nibiru changes color and changes shape every single time they put out a new video. One day it's red, one day it's a small orb, one day it's a big orb, and one day, you know, it's it's in this position and that position, it jumps around, it's got a strange orbit, and they, they dish out all these these fancy scientific terms as if they're experts, but the, the point is nobody is an expert on Nibiru because there's zero basis for comparison because none of us have ever been around to see this, to record it. Except for the, you know, the Sumerians and the uh, the Hopi Indians and all that that they have written on their clay tablets and their in their, you know, their hieroglyphs and all that stuff. But other than that, uh, nobody in modern day can can talk about Nibiru as if they're an expert and quote, you know, this and that um, as far as um, what it's made of and what the orbit is and and the, and the radius and the diameter of it. Nobody knows. So I'm getting sick and tired of these guys like Jeff P and Steve Olson and Chris Potter continuing to put out videos and you guys are just buying into it. I'm not saying all of you, but I know, you know, some of you follow me, follow them. So hopefully you're coming to my channel to get the truth. In any case, um, I'll get to this video right here. So this, like I said, it's from the uh, Addicted to Sports webcam. So they, they claim this right here is a plasma and it's got wings and the the solar winds are making the wings fold in and all this crap I think Jeff P literally just makes shit up as he goes and he make you know he sounds he he's throws out all these terms and to make himself sound smart but in my opinion he has no freaking clue what he's saying um, so here it is in the sky uh, you've got this down here which he calls just a reflection of it whatever blah 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 um, but what I did this is from uh, the 13th this is from Saturday what I decided to do as I did to debunk his, his other video with his red planet in the sky, which basically dips below the horizon and looks like it's sitting 10 feet above the water. The exact same thing happened with this one. So I fast forwarded to the 15th and looky there. So you've got the exact same object that is now below the horizon and sitting what looks to be directly on the water. Um, so clearly this cannot be a solid object. This cannot even be plasma. This is some sort of anomaly um, Either you know from the lens itself from the camera itself or you know It could be some sort of refraction or something else, you know that that is reflecting That is in the sky, but this itself is not Nibiru this is not any of the moons of Nibiru. This is nothing right here that is uh that leads me to believe that it is a planet of any kind or, or even a solid object obviously you guys are smart you guys who are watching this right now clearly you know that can't that can't be um any sort of planetary object or system or anything like that um what i what it is i do not know i'm not an expert like i said no one's an expert i'm not going to sit here and try to 
you know, second guess or try to throw out any sort of theories because I have no freaking clue. And we all need to play devil's advocate to these guys and make sure that they're they're not throwing out disinformation and just making stuff up as they go and, and labeling everything they see in the sky as Nibiru. I'm getting sick and tired of it, so that's what I'm here for in any case. Um, I just want to show you guys this. I'm going to put links to Chris Potter's and Jeff P's videos so you can go. Uh, it's <laughs> Chris Potter's really fun to listen to. I got to admit, he's like a he's like a, a you know a car accident. You just you, you got to slow down and watch and uh, and you got to see what this nut job says next. I actually kind of feel sorry for him. He's clearly gone through a lot in his life, um, but um, I think he's got some <clears throat> serious uh, mental issues. Sorry, Chris, if you're watching this, I'm sure this, I'm sure you are. I'm sure this will make his rounds to you eventually, but. In any case, um, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'll back it up here a little bit so you can see it changes shape there again, but it's still below the horizon. It turns into another shape, and then it's a little bit faint, more faint there, but and then it disappears. But um, as I fast forward, you can clearly see that that is not in the sky anymore, and then it turns to this black quote-unquote bug that these guys like to call it or whatever the hell they want to call it, but... Um, they even say that, you know, this is still the object, but clearly it's not because it's below the horizon sitting above the water. Um, what it is, I have no fucking clue. Maybe you guys can comment below and, uh, tell me what you guys think about that. So, um, in any case, uh, that's all I got one more time. There it is there. And then this is what they are saying is Nibiru or part of Nibiru, this green planet, blah, blah, fucking blah. I am going to bed, and I will see you guys in my next video, which is going to focus on World War III and how we are basically on the cusp of it. There is a shitload going on between North Korea and China and Russia. Things are heating up like never before, and I think some serious shit is finally about to hit the fan. Um, until then, you guys have a good night. I'll see you next time.